Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Rest of today's video, the beer's courtesy of Pariah. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. So they sent me four beers recently, and this is the first one in the box that I'm drinking. Um, so this is called This Cat Could Ball. And I picked this one, right? I'm looking at all four. I'm like, which one do I pick? Um, two of them have, you know, a little bit maybe Halloween vibe. So I might save them for October. Although it's getting really close. This might even be released in October. But anyway, the real reason I picked this is because I'm super bummed. Uh, I don't know if anyone was watching on HBO um, Winning Time. And um, it was based on the uh, Lakers, you know, like dynasty back from what, the late 70s, early 80s. And I was watching the newest episode. And at the end of it, they start doing that thing where they show one of the characters who you know plays someone in real life, and then they do the like the little text about you know the rest of their career. And I was like, wait, what? This is the last episode? Like I didn't know that. And then I looked it up online, and they canceled this show. And uh, I guess like back in January, and had them film a different ending, and in case it did get canceled. So it did have closure, but there was a lot more story to tell. And I was just I was really enjoying that show. So I was like, ah. So when I saw this in the unboxing. I was like, oh, okay. And then I saw in the refrigerator. I'm like, yeah, this is the one to do. So anyway, sorry if you hated that story and that I was talking about a show that you've never seen, but it was a really cool show. And uh, that's why I picked this beer. So <laughs> now you know why I picked the beer. Um, let's do a proper review of it, though. Uh, so I'll wait to read the until the end, but it's 6.6% ABV. So I'll give my thoughts, and then I will get into... Um, uh, what they have to say and uh because usually they put tasting notes and stuff so we'll get into that um i know the nerd sense guys uh they got a box the same box i did and uh, they were texting me last night they didn't try this one yet but what was the message it was pariah beers are no joke <laughs> and i was like yeah no they're really good so uh, they haven't had this one yet at time of review but the other two they had they really enjoyed um yeah this is a nice deep orange color um almost starting to get maybe a little bit beyond hazy um, there is like, like a thickness to it for sure. Not a ton of head, but I don't know how aggressive I really poured it. Let's see. Yeah, so you do get a head. Yeah, so that's just how I poured it. Um, probably like, I don't know, half a finger, three quarters of a finger ahead. Um, there's like, it's, it's, that color is very much, you started with white and then added a little bit of orange. Compact bubbles, except on top. Looks like a very thick New England style IPA for sure. Let's get into your, uh, aroma, yeah, that's next. <laughs> I just really want to try this beer. Good amount of uh, citrus, mostly orange for me. This one of those beers I wouldn't be surprised if I had citra in it because I get orange, mango, and peach, which, as I say many times, is kind of like the three things I get from citra. And I do get all three. It doesn't mean that, that there is citra in here, but I definitely get the orange. I get some nice peach. Um... Not too much apricot, you know, lately, actually a beer, a different beer I had earlier today, I was getting both of those things quite a bit. This one leans more peach for me. Um, let's see what else. I'm wondering if this is a Conan yeast. Because I get a little bit of that familiar aroma there, and I think it's the yeast. There's... Dank, just dank. I'm just going to use the word dank for this. Mixed in with the the uh, orange and the peach mango stuff. There's something else though. Lemon, a little lemony. Not that, not that I should be playing a, a hop guessing game. If you told me there was Nelson in this beer, I wouldn't be surprised. I kind of want to look to see if they put the hops. But anyway, whatever. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. Thanks again, Pariah. Hope you guys are doing well down in Baltimore. Because remember, just because I watched the Nerd Sense guys unboxing. If you haven't watched that, make sure you check out, out, check out Nerd Sense. But um, Sean hadn't realized that they moved to Baltimore, so that's why I said that. But anyway, let's get to the taste. Cheers. That's nice. That has a really good mix of bitterness and the sweetness juiciness like that really i really like that um man yeah that really coming up on ipas right and like i've said this many times um you know having the west coast style ipas right before i ever had anything that was more new new school new you know new england kind of stuff so like 
I remember the great IBU wars where it's like who can make the most bitter beer or whatever. So like I love bitter uh, IPAs for sure. And not that this is overly bitter. I just I really like the bitterness throughout mixing with the sweet um and it does follow the aroma pretty good orange uh peach maybe a little bit of grapefruit a little bit of lemon so citrus a couple way or three different ways i suppose to be technical um a little blip of tropical it's not just the mango there's a little bit else going on uh as well good mouthfeel for sure um it makes me think that not that this is acidic but it just makes me think culinary stuff and you know sometimes you have to add a little bit of you know vinegar or lemon juice or something that you know kind of helps bring balance to you know the other things in the dish that's for me it's just this is so harmonious and just how well the for me anyway the bitterness and those juicy elements you know balance each other out or it just kind of work in a nice harmony it's just really good yeah there's definitely some grapefruit in there I could see some white wine and lemon. Yeah, I mean, if, again, if someone told me Nelson, I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so let's see. Uh, this cat could ball hazy IPA. Um, what you're holding is a little sister beer to our Mamba Mode Dippa, um, utilizing the same unique hop blend of American and Australian hops with a more modest ABV is something we wholly can get behind. Also, yeah, I mean, good amount of flavor. Not that IPAs can't have flavor, but definitely, yeah, good amount of flavor. So they're saying American Australian hops. So maybe I'm on the right track with potential hops in here. Uh, in the glass, it pours a hazy orange color. Yeah, I definitely think it's orange. Notes of peach, melon, grapefruit, um, Mulvasia, Bianca. I don't know what that is. I mean, tangerine amongst uh, more than its weight class mouthfeel. Uh, soft mouthfeel. Okay, sorry. Uh, words are hard sometimes. So um, peach for sure. I didn't get melon, but peach, grapefruit. I'll have to look up what... And it's... It's all caps, so it's a specific thing. Bianca, is that white? Uh, Malvasia, Bianca, and Tangerine. So definitely that orange grapefruit peach thing. So yeah, I mean, of their five tasting notes, four, three of the four, I know what they are. We said the same thing. And then maybe this other one I also said, but I don't know what that is. Maybe it's white wine? I don't know. Anyway, I'll look it up. Um, and the mouthful, yeah, it does have a nice mouth. Did I even talk about that? Definitely has you know what you want out of it. Um, and it's always just great can art from these guys. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic. I, I don't know. let me do one more sip. I, I don't know. I just feel like I kind of have said my, I think Bruno's coming down, said my piece, but I kind of want to keep talking about this beer too. I like grapefruit. I, I, I love the taste of grapefruit. Like actual grapefruit I mean when a beer delivers that and it's kind of cool how from my experience anyway it started more of that orange you know, tangerine and then um was able to get some lemon and grapefruit and it, it evolved a little bit um still get all that stuff but the intensity like like, like that sip it's kind of surprising after the first sip my mind went to orange because here it seemed more grapefruity you know so that's that, whatever for whatever that's worth it kind of makes sense i guess with the bitterness of the citrus but yeah this is great i love this beer uh have you guys had this beer before have you had the bigger version have you had anything from pariah drink something else that you want to talk about anything everything comment section below let's get a conversation going once you're done doing that make sure you check them out on instagram and untapped it's no hype beer reviews both those places so please, please like comment subscribe and most importantly imbibe cheers everyone